Oh my God. Oh my God. Well, hello, beautiful. Thank you so much for being here. Cody, always here to help you have the most healthy, glowing and gorgeous skin. And if you are new, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. If you love skincare reviews, if you love talking about skin and are struggling with your skin, like you're having issues with pigmentation or acne or acne scarring or some type of stubborn skin concern or issue, then you are in the right place. I would love you to subscribe and let me know what's going on and how I can best help you. So anyway, today I am so excited to... Oh my God, we have been working on this for a year and a half. As soon as we found out we were no longer able to produce our old formula of sunscreen, we were scrambling to figure out what to do. And after testing literally probably 50 different formulas, we found a sunscreen manufacturing company that we have teamed up with. We have partnered with them. So we're planning to bring, as we work on this, a whole bunch of different sunscreens over the next hopefully couple of years to the market that are just formulated in such a beautiful and elegant way that you'll enjoy applying them, but they won't cause issues with like acne, leaving a white cast and just all kinds of other stuff. So today I thought it would be fun just to show you um, the old formula a little bit and then the new formula to compare them and then just talk a little bit more about what's unique about the new formula so that maybe they might resonate with you and you wanna give them a try. Now, right away, just so you know, the new formula for the tinted moisturizer is a little lighter than the last one, but what happens when you put it on your skin is it blends into most skin tones, but as you continue to blend it into the skin, it will become darker and start to match your true tone so when you let it absorb a little bit longer it becomes darker and darker so and then you can also layer the sunscreen and make it look a little bit more not like makeup but giving you just a little bit more coverage which is phenomenal and then the new daily sunscreen um, SPF 45 is just remarkable because it doesn't leave a white cast it hydrates and moisturizes without feeling greasy and it doesn't cause any acne congestion in the skin all right, so the new formulas are all SPF 45 now. The last ones were SPF 30. So the new daily skin perfecting moisturizer SPF 45 is now in a larger container. It also contains a lot of vitamin E and a lot of vitamin B to help with redness, inflammation, burning sensitivity, pores, acne, breakout, that kind of stuff. I know that's kind of a little bit of a strong claim to make for an ingredient in a sunscreen, but there's just a high amount of vitamin B in here, niacinamide, that really helps with that. So it's mopping up a lot of the inflammation as you're in the sun, which is really important and kind of rare for a sunscreen. Uh, what's really cool about this formula is that it's buildable and layer so you can layer more and more on so you can just use a little bit to give you a little bit of coverage but you can add more and more to give you a little bit of more coverage kind of like a makeup without it ever looking like a makeup so the last formula was amazing but we had this for about a decade and it was just time to change it anyway so COVID happened and we realized we couldn't manufacture it anymore because some of the raw ingredients we can't get so what was happening though, was just becoming a little too dark and inconsistent for most people. So people were not, sometimes they'd be a little lighter and then darker just depending. And the new one is not going to do that because it's just a more innovative formula. And so um, we just had some issues with people buying the last formula of the tint. And then they were like, well, it's really dark. And the thing that I've also noticed in myself is that my skin was, it was, my skin is, um, pretty light, but I am got some Puerto Ricans. So I have a little bit more of a uh, reddish tone to me, but the last formula was just looking too cool as whereas the new formula is looking a little bit more warm and more like flesh tone or real complexion skin color tone, if that makes any sense. So um, the old formula was very light meant for acne, but kind of watery and a little runny. So, um, but didn't leave like a white cast. So that's the old formula. And then this is going to be the new formula on this side. And I just want to show you kind of, it does look very similar, but the way that this one blends in is just beautiful. It's more hydrating, but it won't cause issues with oil um, production or acne or anything like that. So that was just one pump. And then this side, it's just a little bit more, difficult to blend in the older formula. So the newer one is just more elegant and really absorbs into the skin and you can keep rubbing it and it won't leave a white cast. Not that this one ever left a white cast, but just see how it's a little bit more challenging to can rub in like quickly. So that's not a huge issue. It's just about formulation and getting that formula to be a little bit more 
you know, elegant and have more finesse to it. So um, old formula was great. Newer formula is even better, giving more protection and giving just more assurance with anybody that's oily prone or acne prone that it's not going to cause breakouts, acne or acne congestion. So you can just kind of see though, as I even continue to rub this in, it still leaves a little bit of whiteness, a little bit, as whereas this one just seems to absorb much better more beautifully into the skin and then the last tint like i said was getting a little cool and i'm just going to put that on here so you can kind of see how dark this old one was right which seems nice but the issue is that it's too cool and it's not giving enough people a universal tint or color so some people are just looking too like dark with it on even myself so that's the old one and then this is the new one, which is so remarkable. I just am blown away by just the quality and the way that it absorbs and the way that it covers beautifully, never feels cakey, never looks like greasy, and never looks like makeup. So you see how much lighter it is, but it's more flesh color, more skin tone, like a natural skin color versus this one was looking like a bronzer almost, which is kind of nice sometimes when you want that, unless your tone changes or if you're too light, then it was making people look almost orangey. And this one is just not doing that, the new one. So I'm gonna actually put a little bit up here on my forehead so you can see like this. And then I'm gonna actually wipe, excuse me, I'm gonna actually wipe uh, this side off so you can kind of just see I'm gonna put it all on my skin now, about two pumps like this. Put some here first and then here, cause I already did the left side and then I'll finish there. Um, so I've been testing and testing, testing so many formulas and it's been really a challenge because even ones that you would think are like extremely effective or expensive or whatever were just causing issues with breakout and they weren't feeling nice they didn't look good they didn't look elegant on the skin they looked like something was sitting on the skin or you start to sweat and it would start to kind of like just bead with the white cast again so you can see that's all in my skin but see how much more just natural color that is and then what I love, and people have been complimenting my skin for the last probably few months, and this is all I've been doing differently, is using a new tint that I've been dying to tell you about. And now I just put a little bit on my fingers like this, and I'm going to use it as a concealer, like that right underneath the eye. And you can keep layering. I will sometimes put a little bit more right there in the corner. I don't have issues. Um, with sensitivity much anymore with sunscreen getting in my eyes but if you do you can always rinse your eyes with a little eye drop after you apply it um and i'm gonna actually put just a dash more here and a dash more here a dash more here to cover some of um stuff i'm kind of working on on this side Make sure you get your ears on top of your ears, behind your ears. I do recommend, you know, if you're really serious about this stuff, always put sunscreen on first and then your tint on after, unless you're just really certain that you're not going to need extra protection um, and just get away with the tint. Because some people are not using enough tint or they're using foundation makeup with sunscreen in it and think they're getting enough coverage or protection and they're just not. I'm gonna put a little bit here cover that just a dash a little bit here i'm dealing with a lot of sinus stuff actually they're getting a little better but i don't know if you guys deal with sinus issues i'm just always dealing with that so see how this little white spot i'm going to cover that a little bit more and what i like to do is i'll kind of blend it on thicker and then just tap it in and then let it absorb all right guys and we are working on a darker color, but it's not gonna come out probably for a little bit. We're having some issues with the color and stuff. So we're just trying to make sure that that's perfect. 
Um, so this is mo for most people, um, most skin tones will blend. We've tested this on so many customers. Um, it blends into most skin tones. As whereas the last one wasn't actually, it was too dark for most people, unless you were a person that wanted that kind of that more bronzy look. So I'll just kind of show you now of comparison of like, see how much darker that one was. And some of you may have wanted that, but it was getting even darker and oxidizing on the skin throughout the day with the oil. And then people are looking really dark and then getting a little demarcation where the new formula will not do that. So anyway, guys, I'm so grateful for all of your patience, for your kind of excitement for us always wanting to bring you new products. And we actually are probably going to sell out of these. We have never had a response like this. I didn't realize, you know, when I announced that the old formulas were going away and discontinued, it, the response was not as much as I thought it would be. And so we actually were sitting on a, quite a bit of inventory for a while. And then, and then it started to move all of a sudden. And what I didn't realize is that my wholesale accounts, as well as customers, bought like six or eight of the last formula and stocked up. So they just ran out and then that's what they just did again. So I was not anticipating the response because I just kind of felt like people were done with our old formula and moved on to something new. So we're still trying to figure, you know, we're a tiny brand, but we're still trying to figure out how to bring, you know, the best products to the market as well as, you know, controlling inventory. And we're just still so blown away by your response, your love, your support, your loyalty. Thank you guys so much. Love you guys so much. Hope you have a wonderful weekend and I will see you soon in a new video. Bye.